Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I am bringing my December melting basket. So I use this basket here to throw a bunch of bars in that I plan to melt throughout the month of December. I don't plan to use up all of these bars, I just plan to have this handy so that I can reach and grab bars that are appropriate seasonal scents throughout the month. So how I make my melting basket is I go to my, um, I have like a big drawer thing of wax. So I go to that and I kind of go through it and I pick scents that are either season appropriate or that are for a certain room. So I'll grab a bunch of open layout type scents. I'll grab a few scents for like my daughter's room. I'll grab a couple scents that might be good in bathrooms just so I have a variety to pick from as the month goes on. So I'll just share what I've got in here for you today so you have an idea of what I'm melting through at the month and get some ideas for yourself. And so you know what to expect in my What I've Been Warming Wednesdays videos throughout the month of December. So you will get in-depth warm reviews of most of these scents throughout the month of December. Alrighty. So I'll just kind of go through quickly. I'm not going to go into in-depth scent notes and reviews in this video because some of these I haven't warmed yet. So this is just what I plan to melt in December. Um, I've got a little bit of cinnamon buttercream left. I want to use this up. I plan to use this as a mixer, most likely, for some of the spicier type scents. So cinnamon buttercream. Rainbows and butterflies. This one isn't really a holiday specific scent, but this one, for some reason, reminds me of like clean pine without being as astringent as normal pine scents. So for some reason, this one reads as kind of holiday-ish to me. And this one will be for my daughter's room. Um, I'm out of 100 acre wood, so we're gonna use rainbows and butterflies this month. So there's that one. I've also got a little bit of candy crave here. Again, this is for my daughter's room as well. Not holiday specific, just a nice light candy type scent for my daughter's room. Then I've gotten Very Merry Cranberry. This one is kind of just like a bright, very traditional cranberry scent. Very similar to other cranberry scents you would get elsewhere. It's nice, I really like it. I think this would be a good mixer as well to like mix with like very snowy spruce and make it like very merry spruce, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so I might try that mix. So very merry cranberry. Then I've got red pear and pomegranate. This one, I've got three cubes only. It's probably gonna be for bathrooms. I know this isn't a favorite scent of mine, but I do kind of like it in the bathrooms because it is a like a fruity type scent. So it's nice in the bathrooms for this time of year. It's a bit of a break from the pine scents. I've also got a little bit of Christmas Cottage. I will probably use this up in either my bedroom or my daughter's room because this isn't enough for the open layout. I do have more Christmas Cottage and if I use this up, I will likely grab my full bar out of my wax drawer. Then we have Silver Bells. This is one of my favorites for this time of year. I've been like saving this. Oh, it's so good. I'm probably gonna do this in my bedroom. I have done it in my open layout as well before and I'll probably do that. Um, I do have another full bar of this as well. So I'll probably use the six cubes in my open layout at some point and then use my other bar in our bedroom. So Silver Bells. This is a really, really good one. I highly recommend this one. Next, we have Vanilla Bean Buttercream. This I use mostly as a mixer. And I just, I really like this one. So this is a nice bakery type scent. Vanilla frosting, great as a mixer. Then I have Tinselberry. This one is cranberry, strawberry, and cinnamon sugar. It's like a nice, sweet, slightly spicy scent. This would be fun, I think, for like Christmas movie night or something like that. So I do have a bar of this in my basket. Then I have I'm Snow Over It. I melted one cube of this in a bathroom in like October and I thought it smelled very Christmassy and I liked it a lot, so I've saved it. Yeah, I don't know that this is strong enough for the open layout, but I am gonna try it in bedrooms, probably mine and my daughter's. So there's that one. Then we have Snowberry. This one's really nice. It's like, I wanna say cranberry, but something else too. 
with maybe like a little bit, like there's more going on here. It's got a bit more going on, but it's not really like pine. It's just like a nice, slightly different berry note with like a snowy fresh air feel without being minty or anything else. It's just, it's hard to explain, but it's nice. And that's snowberry. And then I've got perfect peppermint. This one's just classic peppermint, probably for bedrooms or for mixing in the open layout. I like that one a lot. Then I've got Homestead Holiday. This will probably be for like mid to late December. I like this one a lot. This one's very like spicy and just very Christmassy. It feels very like Christmas is right around the corner. Then I've got Mulled Cider and Spice. This one's from the Holiday Trio. And I've not warmed this one yet. It's kind of like a slightly bitter orange with like mulling cider spices. Yeah, we'll see how this one does. It's, I wanna kind of melt it around the same time as Wassel Wonderland and just kind of compare the two. It's a lot fruitier than spiced orange pomander or sweet orange pomander, which I think should be spiced orange pomander because that, that brick is very spicy, not so much sweet, but yeah. This one I enjoy, and compared to Waffle Wonderland, which I actually have a little bit of right here. Okay, this has more tree and smells more like orange juice. This smells more like bitter orange peel with a little bit of like cider spices and no tree. So there's the difference between those two that I smell on cold. Um, on warm, of course, things change, but that's my basic first impression on cold. Next we have Arctic Kiss, one of my favorites. Really well, really good performer. Nice fresh scent, a little bit fruity as well. I think it's a pretty safe bet for most people. I like that one a lot. This will probably be bedrooms to finish up the bar or maybe open layout. I do have more of this as well to do in the open layout. Spiced Ember Glow, one of my favorites from the new bars this season. This one's so good. It's like red hot cinnamon, but like fancy. <laughs> like if you could make red hot cinnamon like very elegant and elevated, this is it. Like this is so nice. I love it. I love it on its own. I also love it with like vanilla bean buttercream or sugar cookie. It's amazing. Then I have a bar of dancing sugar plums. This one's just really nice. It's like very fruity. I think it would be really nice mixed as well with winterberry apple tea. I might try that. Then I have Peppermint Dreams. This is from Bring Back My Bar a while back. This is not currently available, but it smells like peppermint patties. Like it smells like dark chocolate, like a little bit of dark chocolate, but mostly peppermint. So there's that one. Then I have Joy and Wonder. This one is also from the Holiday Trio. And it's just hard to explain, but it's very incensey or incense like, because <laughs> incensey sounds like sensey. Um, I like it a lot. It's a good performer. I've actually got this going in my bathroom right now, and I really like it. Um, I've got a fragrance flower of this as well. I love this scent, and it's a bit different than anything I've smelled that Scentsy has done. So, love this. Decent performer. Highly recommend. Then I've got pomegranate prosecco in here. I've got enough for the open layout. I'll probably do this New Year's Eve. Yeah, this is like a slightly bubbly cranberry or pomegranate type scent. I guess more pomegranate and bubbly. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Perfect for like New Year's time. So there's that. I've got a bit of sugar cookie here. Again, probably for mixing. Oh, this one's good. Yeah, this is like your Christmas cookie type scent. So sugar cookie. Then I have a bar I've been hoarding for December. Um, marshmallow mint cocoa. So sad this one didn't come back. This one's really good. It's like a milk chocolate hot chocolate with just a little bit of mint. It mostly smells like hot chocolate with like a drop of peppermint oil or like a candy cane sitting in it. It's so good. 
So I'm excited to warm this one. I've been saving it. Then I have just a couple cubes left of Olaf warm hugs, probably for one of the bedrooms. I do have more of this as well. Um, this will be a go-to for bedrooms this month, I think. Then we have a homemade bar from a consultant of Candy Cane Wishes, which I've also been hoarding for this month. I really like this one. It's like a sweet peppermint with like a little bit of vanilla and like sugar. So I really like this one. I did two cubes in my bedroom already, enjoyed it. I'll probably keep doing it in bedrooms because I don't feel like it was strong enough to do in the open layout. So there's that. And then last but not least, we have Be Merry. So this one is cranberry and just like a little bit of like forest, but it's a very sweet cranberry and like very little forest. So it's more like you have your face in a nose of cranberry, your your face in a bowl of cranberries, and like your window is open and there's a pine tree outside. Like the pine is just kind of in the distance. I love this one. It's very juicy, very bright. I think this would be nice as a mixer with a lot of your other holiday type scents. I feel like if you did a cube of this very snowy spruce and like perfect peppermint, you'd have like the ultimate Christmas scent. Um, yeah, so there's Be Merry. And that is all I've got in my basket for this month. So there's quite a few things in there. I'm not going to use all of those up, um, but I'll probably get through a reasonable amount of wax this month because we are going to be home. I take my annual vacation time at Christmas because it's my favorite time of year. So I will be home more and will be warming more wax. So I will get through a good portion of that. Um, I do have to, as I'm smelling sugar cookie there, uh, get started on my holiday baking as well. It's that time already. Do you do holiday baking? And if you do, what do you make? So for us, we usually do like sugar cookies with frosting. Um, I make like, I call it, we call it walnut bark. It's got like soda crackers and like caramel and like chocolate on top with like nuts. Um, yeah, it's really good. Uh, we also make, sometimes I make fudge. I haven't made fudge in a couple years because like I'm the only one that likes it and I don't want a whole pan of fudge just for me. Um, not good. Um, what else do we make? Oh, there's these like chocolate cookies we make that you roll in icing sugar and then they like crinkle and then you put like a Hershey's kiss in the middle. Those are really good too. Um, yeah, I was going to make some like gingerbread molasses type cookies this year as well. Um, and I also want to try making Linzer cookies because I've never made those, but I really like them. So let me know what you bake and, uh, give me some ideas as well. And I will talk to you in the next video. Um, this is what I plan to melt for December. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.